Guys, it just happened. You're not gonna believe what Bree found. She has it in her hand right now. We've been walking these banks for so long looking for something like this and she found it in the water. We are out on the river today, my friends, to do some fossil hunting on these banks. This here is prehistoric ocean floor that has turned to rock and there are fossils eroding all out of it. I also have Bree here with me today as well as Brian all the way from Alaska. Let's crank up the boat and get going that way. It is bright out here, my friends. This is where we're about to park, and we're gonna be walking this bank here. Let's get over there. Perfect. Perfect little parking place. We just tied off the boat there, and I already see some fossils eroding out of this limestone. You see right, that right there? There's some up there. Let's walk out here. Oh yeah, all around Brian there. That's cool, some type of little shell fossil. Oh yeah, so is it actually both sides too? I think it is. It is, it yep. Is. Still closed after a very, very long time. So I just got that far from the boat and I see the first fossil worth keeping. Well, I saw it, there it is. <laughs> Look at that right there, that's a fossilized echinoid. So it's like a little tiny sand dollar. From back when this was an ocean. Oh, you got one, Bree? Let's see. Right under the boat. Oh, that's a really nice one. Thank it's a little you. bit bigger than the one I found. <laughs> I just walked down the bank a little bit and hit this layer here. Look at this. There are tons and tons of echinoids all in here. Baby, baby ones. I couldn't, I couldn't even pick up all these things. Super concentrated. I mean, look at this right there. You guys see all those? That's pretty crazy. And there's a handful from that spot. Tons more left right there, but I'll just throw those in my pocket and keep going. So Bree just picked this one up a couple minutes ago. Look at that, that's a beautiful fossil. Unbelievable preservation too. We just found that spinner bait with tons of fishing line here, so we wound it up so an animal doesn't get caught in it and die right here. We'll toss it in the bag, there you go. Perfect. Bree strikes again here. Whoop with two more echinoids. Look at those, great preservation on both those. We'll do the extraction, that's a good one. And the extraction, that's another good one. I just spotted that too. Oh, what is that? That's a what good one as nice well. One. Nice, and up there, they're Bunch everywhere. Of ones. Sweet. <laughs> So I've been saying echinoid, echinoid, echinoid over and over again, and I just realized that I haven't really explained what I mean by that. So this here is called a sea biscuit by a lot of people. We're finding sand dollars today, and we may even be finding pieces of sea urchins. All those things belong to a group of animals called echinoids, and I'm just using that kind of group term today. There's another one right here. Yeah, it needs to be prepped out a little bit so you can see that pattern better, but. That's a tiny little echinoid or sand dollar stuck in there. There are just so many fossils here. All the light colored stuff you see, that's all random shells, prehistoric oysters. No vertebrate stuff, no shark teeth yet or anything else, but that's okay. This is a different type of rock right here. This is chert and there's tiny micro druzy quartz crystals all over it. Can you guys see that sparkling? Hopefully that's showing up. That's a pretty cool thing. Maybe we'll find more crystals out here somewhere. Those cicadas are going crazy today, my friends. So when the river floods, it's peeling back a layer right here. And often it deposits down in the low stuff in the little pockets. Right there on the surface, I can see that is bone, my friends. Our first vertebrate fossil of the day. It looks to be a piece of turtle shell probably from the Pleistocene, so a lot newer than this limestone. It didn't erode out of here, it eroded out of the top stuff up there. 
Brian just picked this one up right here, my friends. That's our first nice little Pleistocene fossil. It's to something called an artiodactyl, which is either a camel or a bison. It's hard to tell with a tooth that's fragmented that much, but that's a great sign. Maybe we'll find a nice big mammoth tooth sitting here in a second. <laughs> we're all back to the boat and we're moving on to the next spot. We've just been cruising up and down the bank at this distance, checking the sides. And I see this right here. Can you guys see that? Let's hop out real quick. There we go. And pull the boat over. There we go. Oh, look at it. Oh, nice. That's that's even better than the one I just picked up. Let me wash this one off. Great. It doesn't look. Oh, that's killer. Nice. That is a good oh find. Oh my gosh. Big like yes, sand, sand dollar. dollar. Let's uh let's tie the boat off right here. Actually, I'm. I'm pretty excited about that. Ooh, it might come out in pieces, uh, they usually do. Oh uh, uh, yeah, Matrix, it, that would have been very hard to clean anyway. Yeah. Still, it's a good sign. I mean, this is better yeah, that's than, a beautiful this one. is better than the stuff we were in on that side over there. This too, isn't it? Oh. Whoa. What is that? Oh, a piece of another huge piece one. Piece of another one. Okay, we're on them now. And Brian strikes again. I kind of walked right past that. <laughs> That's, That's a, a really beautiful nice one. one, about identical size to the one I found, huh? Real similar. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting ready to move on over there, and Bree comes back with an injury. Let me see your arm. Ta-da! Wow, but it was worth it because you found, oh my goodness. That's a good one, Bree. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Let me get a closer look at that. Gotta be super cautious of rocks when driving the boat this close. But, we get a good view here of all that stuff. It's hard to tell, that's the edge of the boat right there, that's big enough to drive the front of the boat up under. But we're not going to do that because we would get crushed and die, so we'll keep moving. Look at the tiny little spring right here, crystal clear water bubbling out of the ground. It's just a tiny little one. We're doing a quick check right here because we saw piles of strange rocks. We're seeing more here, broken pieces there. There's one that's a little bit crushed up. That one might be complete. And it is indeed, I believe, yeah. One here that's mostly complete. And there's just tons of fragments. Look at that one that Bree just found. Matrix. A busted up one there. The one right there. Uh, that's a complete one, we'll keep that one. There he is. All right, there's another one there, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of getting tired of these little guys. <laughs> Bree just spotted that right there, do, 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 and do. then I looked over and spotted that one. I can tell mine is a little bit damaged, but I don't know about this one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I think. A little damaged, but let's wash it. Yeah, let's wash them off. So there it is. This particular type of echinoid is called a shizaster. It's a little bit damaged, but it's a pretty good one. Now, Bree was cleaning that, and I looked right down here. And I was like, is that bone? Nope, wasn't bone. Then I looked right there, and I noticed that is a fossilized horse tooth. Now, you might have heard Bree gasp just now, <laughs> and I see why, because right beside that... Was that another? Another... No, that's... That's bison. Oh! We got a horse and bison right next to each other. Nice! We have an echinoid spine right here. So you ever seen sea urchins with all their spines on the ocean floor? That's one of their spines, but it's completely fossilized. I will definitely keep that. Bree just grabbed what could be the first nice complete disaster. We gotta wash that one. This one turned out really nice, my friends. That's Bree's complete disaster cleaned off and I grabbed it from her for a second to get this clip, and then she found that one. So <laughs> this is getting crazy. <laughs> Thank em. you. I see an upside down one right here. Come on. Oh, it's pretty good. It has some rock stuck to it still. I'll have to clean that off better later. A piece of one there, but it's broken already. I just spotted this guy. That is a little busted on the back, but the display side is beautiful. We will definitely keep that. Oh my goodness, a huge sturgeon just jumped. Oh, that's crazy. That fish was probably 
what, a hundred, a couple hundred pounds maybe? Probably. There's a nice little one right on the surface. Okay, one for the pocket. I'm looking really carefully at all this gravel here. It's like a dense quartz sand stuff. And that's where some of those Pleistocene fossils, like the horse teeth and everything, can be sitting. I just spotted one right here under me and I've been digging around it with this stick. I just popped it free. It looks to be a complete echinoid. Another one of those Shizaster species there. I think that'll be a nice one when I get it cleaned. There's another one of those echinoids, like that one I just picked up right there. This one's a little damaged. We'll just set this one right here. But I've been cleaning this. I've been rubbing sand into it a little bit. Let's see. Look at that. That's a pretty one. And then Bree just picked up this little guy here. Just those two right there are beautiful. So this was worth a stop, just these two alone. There's another one just sticking out of the rock. The exact same species as that one. I'm not gonna worry with trying to dig that one out because it's clearly damaged. So we'll move on. Bree just picked this piece up here, my friends. Look at that. That's a piece of fossilized coral. And it looks like maybe there were Native Americans. Look how translucent that is. Maybe there were Native Americans busting pieces off of this to make stone tools. I just picked up a rock there because it looks strange. I don't know if you guys can see. That is agate right there. Pretty nice little pocket. I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to look around here a little bit more carefully. Oh, dang. It's pretty nice, isn't it? That's actually really nice. Lots of banding on that. Yeah. Want to get it wet real quick? Sure, let's do it. That water made those bands come out so much better. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, I want more of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I could not handle the heat anymore, my friends, and this feels unbelievably good right now. I'm recharged, ready to jump in the boat. We gotta go pick up Brian and also see the mammoth husk that he may have found. We just parked there and Bree spotted, holy cow, let's get, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. That is the best one of the day so far. <sighs> Oh, there it was like go. stuck. Let's wash him. Okay. <laughs> Is that your oh, biggest echinoid ever? that's my biggest beauty. I love the little like spots on it. Yeah. That's a beast right there. Uh, nice. Good job. <laughs> Look at that beautiful crystal clear spring right there and then where it meets the river. The difference in the color of the water is insane. We just parked the boat up there and we are about to walk down here in this water and feel around all on the edges there to see if we can find anything else. This is where we found that um, horse tooth and that bison tooth earlier, right here along this edge. So maybe there'll be more. So I have found a ton of bone sitting in this little pothole and we all joined forces here. Bree took a couple scoops <laughs> and my mind is blown, my friends. Look. Oh my at that beauty. That's in great shape. I am mind blown right oh, now. Oh my god. That is an auriculata shark tooth, a oh direct and direct ancestor of the megalodon. And that is in beautiful shape. Both cusps on it, sharp serrations still. Even <laughs> the tip. Bree! What my are you doing? Handful. Okay. Maybe this is a good spot. I mean, <laughs> that's a good sign. <laughs> Alright, so I've been scooping for a while. And I just got a tooth, not as amazing as the one that Bree found, but that is my first shark tooth of the day right there. As far as species, I'm not sure. It's a little too fragmented for me to tell. So all these shark teeth, this one here, this is the same spot that earlier in the day we got that bison tooth and that horse tooth. We just came back down the river and decided to check it one more time. And it is a very good thing that we did. I still am mind blown over that. Wow, man. I just found this guy right here and cleaned it off and Bree right beside me found that shark tooth, a little mako shark tooth, right in the water. They're here. Bree is just the shark tooth master today. Look at that. It's pretty uncommon in a place like this. Bree found all these little shark teeth in the same crack 
just a few minutes ago. In addition to that big one she found earlier, I think Bree officially gets the title as the shark tooth queen for today. I wanted to be the shark tooth queen, but that's all right. <laughs> so it's getting pretty late. We're about to head back to the boat ramp now. But when we get back home, we're gonna lay out all of our finds to show you guys. So here we go. Here are some of the highlights from today. We had a few nice Pleistocene fossils. These are horse teeth and that is a bison tooth. We got all the different echinoids. Breeze beast right there. Beautiful piece. The sand dollars and these heart urchins or shizasters. And then a few of the shark teeth. Bree wins for today with this one right here. And Ricciolatus, direct ancestor of the Megalodon. Look at that enamel and those serrations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for me if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video.